I'm Igor Kfetz, and this is The List Building Lifestyle, a podcast for anyone who wants to build a wildly profitable email list working from home. If you'd like to make six figures, travel the world, and help people improve their lives in the process, then this podcast is for you. I also invite you to attend a free workshop at igor.ac, where I'm teaching how I made $21,779.25 in affiliate commissions by sending just 481 clicks to my affiliate link in one day. I'm also explaining why I walked away from ClickBank and I don't promote ClickBank offers anymore, as well as the five things I look for in the perfect affiliate offer. I'm even going to show you the one-page website that I used to make over half a million dollars in affiliate commissions this year, and I'll even bribe you to attend this workshop by giving you a $497 value course that shows you how to cherry pick high converting affiliate offers for your next affiliate promotion. In addition, I'll even give you the three offers I'm promoting right now that are making me money as we speak. All that and more at igor.ac. And now it's time to claim your Lisboning lifestyle. Welcome back to the List Building Lifestyle with your host, Igor K. Fetz. February 2019, I was bored out of my mind, pinballing my way through rooftop parties at the Traffic and Conversion Summit in San Diego. It was all the same. You come in, show your badge, elevator takes you to the loft where a couple of hundred drunk internet marketers are trying to get you drunk to find out how you make money, or they just lie through their teeth about how successful they are to impress you. And after a couple of days in San Diego, I was getting really tired of this routine. I was just going to hit one more party before calling it a night. And so I Ubered to the location. The big black dude at the the door pulled back the velvet rope, letting me in. I was surprised he didn't recognize me because I'm the great Igor Kafetz, right? Uh, Apparently, he never listened to this podcast. So anyway, the elevators were crowded. I walk my way up to the rooftop. And where I kind of awkwardly stood in the middle of the floor, questioning my presence here, right? And then a familiar voice calls me out. It was Greg Jeffries, actually. And I met Greg two years prior at Funnel Hacking in uh, Dallas while waiting in line to get my pass. Uh, Back then, Greg recognized me as just as he did this time. And, uh, you know, he was just an up and comer at the time. However, at the club this time, he was no longer just another affiliate. He was actually an affiliate with a capital A because he'd gotten his affiliate business to making multiple six figures, mostly passively and mostly on a shoestring budget. So I invited Greg on the show because I wanted to get him to spill the beans on how to actually run a lean affiliate business. Because thing is, for as long as I followed Greg since the day we met at Funnel Hacking, I've seen a consistent theme to everything he does. Over the years, he'd built hundreds of small affiliate income streams based on long tail keywords around tools and training programs. He did it in his spare time, by the way, in between jobs with minimal equipment and on a very lean budget. Above all, however, Greg didn't sell his soul to the hustle devil along the way. He actually remained in control of his time while scaling his income. He's living the SEO super affiliate lifestyle on his own terms. And this episode, will really not be about list building or email marketing because that's not where most of Greg's income is actually coming from. But I promise you, the strategies he applies to his affiliate business are highly valuable and highly applicable to list builders as well. So please help me welcome my friend, Greg Jeffries. Greg, welcome to the list building lifestyle. Thank you for having me on your show. My pleasure. As as you've seen, you know I've I've uh, been following you around. So uh, coming in, we had a we had history, and I'm just you know I was just looking over your income reports. And for anyone who's interested, uh, you know, in the income reports, uh, you can go to imsource.org and you can find those. Uh, basically, it, there's a very nice progression of your affiliate business and affiliate income going from a couple of hundred bucks per month not even per day, per month, all the way to making, I think at one point you've made 40 something thousand dollars with affiliate, in, like with from affiliate marketing. Although I do know you have a few courses too. So I had to get you on the show. I absolutely had to. And you also been uh, featured on the Funnel Hacking Radio, the ClickFunnels podcast where, you know, they uh, they were proud to show you off, obviously, because you're a dream car winner and you're like one of the uh, bigger uh, affiliates for ClickFunnels. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first question is really, how the hell did you even stay in business for so long? Because 
I mean, you struggled for a long time and this is not an overnight success story. So what kept you going? You know, just the, the hope, desire that it was achievable. Um, I, I think you and I are about the same age. So I wanted to believe the what you and I have both been sold over the years. I'm sure you remember the old um, before VSLs, just the sales letters of just the Internet marketing lifestyle, living on a beach with just a laptop or whatever, making passive income like that. I wanted to believe that dream and it. I mean, it is definitely achievable and you don't have to be uh, some paid traffic guru or, I mean, there's so many different ways to make money. And for me, you know, I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have, um, I never made more than about 20,000 a year at a job. So I didn't have a lot to work with. Yes, I had credit cards. Um, so that's what I used for leverage, but I had to be resourceful with those little bit of resources. I had time and I had credit, but I didn't have income. And so I, I tried lots of different things over the years, but I kind of settled on SEO because, you know, it, it would, there's paid traffic, which you need a budget. And then basically with SEO, it's mostly free. Yes, you do need some time and there's some tools that you can buy, but I gravitated that direction because I didn't have a lot of money to work with. So I just tried to learn as much as I could about SEO. And the more I learned about it, once I, it took me years and years to kind of distill it down to um, being simple, um, the way I teach it and understand it. But it seemed to fit the mold of like everything that we were sold like years before with uh, just the passive income. Because, you know, yes, you can, if you get a pay traffic campaign profitable, it doesn't take a lot of time to maintain that but you know you're gonna have to spend some money to get that data to refine it and stuff so i i don't know i just found with seo i found um a kind of angle to use it in a way to create that internet or whatever laptop lifestyle dream that we've been sold so it it was i don't know it just that's what worked for me basically but again there's many different ways to make money online but this is um a lot of my income has yes it took a lot of time to learn all the stuff i know now but it took very little time between learning all that and implementing it uh the things i've learned and then getting the whatever roi results from that because i haven't like click funnels is a good example I haven't been very aggressive at all at doing anything in the last two years, but since it's a uh, pays you every single month for their main product, I I've pretty much made over five figures a month for the last two years from that initial effort. So I, yeah, it's, it's incredible just to be able to kind of coast a little bit. <laughs> Well, you know, in many ways, uh, and I noticed that only after I succeeded online, uh, this industry is a lot like where, you, you know, you have to believe in it before it gives you the money to believe in it. And then it sort of self-perpetuates into more and more and more, which is what we've seen with you, where your success sort of snowballed into a bigger and bigger and bigger as you've started getting some results. And um, yeah, uh, when it comes to the dream, and for me, it was exactly like you're describing. I literally landed on a page with a guy in a hammock on the beach with a laptop and a case study that basically, you know, I believed that from day one, I was a believer because I really wanted to, let's face it. It's a really nice thing to believe in. Yeah. And I'm really happy you stuck around because uh, you're a true inspiration in that way where, you know, you're, you're basically taking on a really slow and painful road of SEO, which I've been there. I took that, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. And you make it work and you, you're even now being, you know, uh, you've been able to simplify it too for other people, which we'll tell you guys more about that uh, towards the end of the episode, so stick around. So I guess my next question is, uh, you've become the t one of the top affiliates for ClickFunnels, but you've also promoted pretty much every other tool out there, you know, WordPress themes, uh, click trackers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, do you mind sharing your philosophy uh, when it comes to choosing uh, the product you're promoting? Uh, well, the kinds of products I try to promote for SEO are, 
Ideally, ones that are more evergreen have a pay a recurring commission and high ticket. So, and if you can get all those things together, that's like the perfect little trifecta because since SEO is a little bit more of a long-term marketing strategy, it, it, you know, you, do, you want that stuff to stick around. You put in effort, you want it to produce results for a long time. And, uh, you know, w- another angle is launch jacking, and that doesn't necessarily have to just be for in- internet marketing products. There's all kinds of physical products. Apple launches products every year, so you can piggyback off that. And, you know, that's probably not going to pay uh, dividends for a long time, but there's going to be a, a huge rush around those searches uh, in a very short amount of time. So that's another approach, but generally I like to stick to more evergreen types of keywords so like i'm not to not trying to poo poo and like click funnels or anything but every i feel like everybody because they see me and some of the other people getting commissions from click funnels they think it's the greatest thing in the world and it, it, it's a great tool but you and i have been around a little bit longer than click funnels and things come and go there's seasons to all this stuff and you can kind of predict the future based on what you've seen in the past and um, click funnels is probably not always going to be the uh, the same that as the, as they were when they first launched we've already seen them start to change their terms and conditions um because they're kind of growing evolving into like a, a, a real company instead of just a cool scrappy internet marketing startup so i uh i i try to get people to think a little bit broader than just click funnels um and and try to yeah just oh oh so where I was going with this uh, think a little bit more generic because um, you know ClickFunnels is one of many ways to make money um, whatever let's just pick your business opportunity of the month whatever's popular this oh year. dude it's been so hard lately because they've all been shut down by the FTC but uh, you know uh, let's do um, let's do it's not a business opportunity per se actually just a friend of mine who owns a really cool affiliate program let's do john cristani's uh uh, super affiliate system right so that you know before i mean just what is it two years ago it was called something else um still kind of the same thing but it was called something else so if you went after those terms well you know now you got all this content out there for whatever it was called before i forget and so nobody's that those searches are going to continue to go down. But if you focus on more generic things like, you know, make money online, but the longer tail keywords around that, then in your using redirects, then you can substitute whatever the business opportunity of the year is. You can switch it out with his stuff, click funnels, legendary marketer, you know, whatever, what was a uh, empower network, whatever's the popular Oh, I really, uh, I, I pity those who optimized for SEO for Empower, right? <laughs> right, right. It was great for a couple of years, and then now it's not, it doesn't exist anymore. So uh, if you're going to go that route, then I would, it, it would take a little bit more effort to probably to get some traction for more generic types of keywords, but it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So just want to communicate that to people to not get super focused on like any one opportunity because they're going to change over time. You know, I mean, it's great. Uh, you know, in the beginning with click funnels, I, I went after uh, videos more instead of blog posts um, and websites. And at the time click funnels, they were so new that I'm, I'm pretty sure I had more video tutorials on YouTube than they had in their help support documents. And so people would find me. So yeah, I piggybacked off that you know, opportunity. People were searching for that. So I got some traction there, but, um, and we, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can agree with me on this. Like when ClickFunnels came out, I don't think anybody in our space knew that it would still be around five, six years later. Cause at the time ClickFunnels came out, um, you know, lead pages already existed. Sam cart came out around the same time. So we were like, which one's going to, when, you know, I, I don't know, is, and is ClickFunnels going to be around in another year? Is this just like a really long product launch? Like what's going on? Um, and, you know, it's evolved into what it is now. So you never, you never can really tell. 
but yeah you uh, but what we uh, so first off what you're sharing is is uh it's really good advice as well as well for people who build lists because what i've seen people do is direct link to empower instead of building their own list their own tribe around their own information and, and vision and mission and purpose instead of like you know just so they're you're, they're not immune to the marketplace swings if you will right because most people who if you kind of look at the let's do the biz up industry since we're talking biz ops mm -hmm. um you know if you look at the leaders for example the ones who stuck around most of them have tribes yeah uh and yeah. lists that they've built for themselves rather than for their opportunities which is very very smart now as far as uh click funnels yes i think you do between you and Sp uh, spencer mitchum i think his name is uh, you guys probably have the most tutorials and i actually used one of your tutorials in my uh comprehensive thirty-seven thousand word guide to list building where i would recommend it uh click funnels as a tool and then i used your tutorial you know to, to to give people like the basics overview because there was just so many tutorials you could just you know pick pick whatever so yeah you definitely walk the talk in that department for sure and regarding i guess what i want to like drive home here is that i'm noticing that you're promoting tools and software and all sorts of things that all people need who try to make money online but you don't necessarily get married to any one tool or concept or anything like that so you know about the market of make money online people people who are trying and so you give them the tools uh which i think is really really smart yeah um you know we all have different strengths and i guess something i've identified myself over the last couple of years is I, I don't consider myself a salesman yet. Yeah, I've been through lots of courses. I know a lot of marketing buddies that are really good at selling. Like, you know, I, I consider someone like Alex Becker, a really good salesman, Chris Record and stuff there, John Cristani, they're really good salespeople. Yeah, I, I just consider myself a marketer and my, my angle to promote things is generally to not focus like if it was click funnels i wouldn't focus on like sign up for click funnels click funnels is the best tool um these are the reasons that click funnels is amazing because click funnels may go away but I, I just try to teach them how to use the tool because i think one of the things that a lot of people struggle with with click funnels and all these other business opportunities is they get a bunch of people in the door and then the churn rate is crazy high because you didn't tell them what to do you didn't tell them how to use that tool. So they're like, hey, what do I do next? And you give them no direction. So I try to give people, you know, it's my way of creating value, I guess, is you just give them some direction. Like if I was gonna, uh, you know, refer people to you as a solo ad vendor, I'd be, I wouldn't just say, uh, you know, like here, you know, use your empower link, buy some clicks from Igor and like, good luck. Yeah. Just direct link. It's easy. And you're going to make a lot of money. Like I would try to give them some value and direction of like, well, th these are the kinds of uh, maybe a, a template for a landing page that, um, converts really high with this list. Um, this is how I would kind of position things so you can ho hopefully get a little bit. So you go deep. It's something you refer to in one of the interviews uh, that you've done where I think uh, someone, um, they were talking about launch jacking, I think. And you said, yeah, so to successfully do that, you have to create some some quality content. And you actually labeled yourself. You said, look, I'm not a salesman. I'm a marketer, but not maybe not even that. You said, I am a content curator more than anything else so it seems like you put a lot of effort into the quality of the bait the content the bait that people that you get the people with uh so the the selling or the conversion part of it kind of takes care of itself at some point yeah i i'm i'm pretty sure i borrowed that from a, another marketer over the years but it's like i just i don't focus like again let's just use keep using click funnels as an example i don't to, if i was promoting click funnels I don't focus on click funnels. I focus on like, here's all the things that you can do with it. And in order to do all these cool things that you really want to do, you're going to need click funnels. And since I gave you all this direction, if you don't already own it, you might as well get it through me. And you know, I'm more likely to want to help you out if you buy it through my affiliate link, obviously and stuff. So it yeah, it naturally uh, leads to the sale and stuff. And um, yeah, that, all that comes down to really just putting in a little bit more extra effort. Everybody is looking for the easy 
fast, easy button. And I mean, I'll, I have a problem with this of always kind of taking like the slow, long, slow route or whatever, but that's what it took, but it didn't take that long. You know, a lot of my, one of my sites that gets a lot of traffic for click funnels, I, I focused one month on it. That was it. And that was two years ago. One of the channels that's gotten led to the initial like success with click funnels. I spent one month making videos to for the three years ago. That was it. Like, so imagine if I would have, followed through and, um, you know, did a second month and a third month, I would have a lot more content. And yes, it takes a little bit of time to sit down and write a, you know, create a custom video for, um, let's just use your, uh, industry of, of solo ads. There's a lot of long tail keywords, uh, around solo ads. Um, you know, there's solo ads for health offers, solo ads for every single business opportunity out there. So you could, I mean, you could take the time or someone on your team could take the time to uh, sit down and um, make a three minute video on like solo ads for, again, you say John Cristani's offer, whatever off, offers popular of the year. And there would be a small, only, probably only a small amount of people that are searching for that thing specifically. But when they find it, they're going to be like, this is exactly what I was looking for. And that's probably going to lead to super high conversion rates. Um, rather than just a generic video around solo ads and why they're better than Facebook ads. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And, uh, you know, dude, this interview has been so great for my ego. You know, when you say that solo ads is my industry, like. Mm. <laughs> well, hey, yeah, just, I mean, for real, like when you, I mean, I don't know if you see this since you are Igor, but um, what I, one thing I've noticed over the years is, there's been a lot of vendors that have kind of come and gone. There's other names that I'm familiar with. And then there's brands of solo ad sellers, but there's very few people that use their name for solo ads that have stuck around for, I don't know, seven plus years, however long you've been kind of actively in the game, which is really impressive because one thing I've observed is it's hard to use your name for a long per period of time if you've done some, a lot of shady stuff, um, most people hide behind, it's easier to hide behind a brand because you, again, it's more versatile. You can kind of move around, but when you screwed a lot of people, you, I find it hard to do in this space for a long time because it's such a small community. And you realize that when you go to these live events, everybody knows everybody. So you don't want to burn too many bridges. Yeah, well, uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, obviously, one of the secrets was do less shady shit. <laughs> you know, that's been, uh, you know, you don't see this, but there's a sign in my home office somewhere. It's like, do less shady, right? But no, but if we're on a serious note, um, one of the reasons why so many people have come and gone is because solo ads have not been profitable for many of them because uh, they, the game changed. And so I can honestly admit that if it wasn't for Dennis, who um and and of course our coding team that's been being led by one really exquisitely high quality uh, coder um it, i'd be out of the solo business by now as well so in many ways uh as i've been you know the guy who beats the drum in the front of the parade but the parade was taken care of by dennis uh for the most part and so well, the reason we're in business is because of him because of all the amazing crazy stuff that you know he keeps developing with our team now, um, with regards to the community being really small, it is truly really small. And um, I've, I've had some thing come up in the affiliate space where I basically burned a bridge with a JV manager who raised a whole, you know, a bunch of noise about it. All of a sudden, I've seen it backfire. I've seen people approach me about it, ask me questions. Another guy for whom I made $250,000 all of a sudden doesn't want to work with me, right? Uh, which is, of course, kind of shows true colors. But then again, yes, the industry is very small and uh, you have to be really conscious and careful about your name. Although this is not to say that you will always be uh, on everyone's good side uh, because I've gotten on more bad sides for people than I care to admit. And that's just the nature of the game. The beautiful part, though, is you can still burn bridges and make a lot of money and still have lots of friends and still help lots of people. So all in all, just take it in good stride, you know, regardless. This is true. 
Um, right. So, by the way, guys, you're listening to this. Notice that we don't go into the techniques and technical stuff of the SEO, because if you want to go deeper into that, you should probably just learn directly from Greg. And he's got an amazing, amazing course that's called SEO Affiliate Domination, if I'm getting that name right. Yep. And you can just Google that. Uh, it'll come up on the first page in the first spot, because obviously he's an SEO guy. Uh, so that course will teach you more about how to pick your keywords, how to optimize them, what sort of content to create, and how to basically launch the shoestring affiliate business that's going to take a while to build, but it's truly worth building. Now, my next question really is, so uh, we've gone over how you choose the products. Uh, we uh, kind of recognize that there are seasons to everything, so we got to make sure we pick things that are more evergreen. Uh, there's more than one way to skin the cat. So, you know, uh, if you're optimizing for click funnels, you might as well optimize for SIM card and, uh, you know, card draw or whatever. A card draw is probably the latest, the newest thing. I'm not sure. Have you done any uh, card draw I stuff? still haven't. See, I've, I've, I've literally been telling people in interviews what to do for the last two years. And uh, just for anybody wondering, I'm getting back in the game now, finally. So two years later, I'll give you a, a, a huge head start. And now I'm going to, you know, circle back around and prove to everyone that there's competition. It's just, it's not as competitive as you might think. I mean, even after two years of me literally telling all my secrets in multiple interviews, I'm starting to see some people do the things I say, but still very few. And I still find my content after two years. So, you know, I'm sure you get similar type questions with your Oh, dude, well, it's worse for like, me. What, what, you know, what, when's the time frame? When am I going to make my first dollar? And like, what's the competition? What, what, well, how about, what about the other 5,000 people that might be sending the same email to their list? I'm like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a couple of years back, um, it was about a year after me and Dennis hooked up and started working together. Um, I was scheduled to fly out to Florida to give a speech at a, at an event about solo ads you know and the room was going to be was going to be full of people who do solo ads so getting ready to that event in it back in israel dennis and i are just sitting down and i'm like dude what what should i teach because i don't want to give them all my secrets and he said something really profound which uh, explains pretty much everything about the industry we're in and he says look you can probably give them everything about your business and 99.9% .9 of them still will do nothing with it. So don't worry about it. Just go and, you know, teach some good content. And he was right. He was absolutely right. It, yeah, it blows my mind. Um, cause it's kind of like what, uh, Russell Runson teaches, you know, for the last, I don't know if you've been to the last two or so, uh, funnel hacking lives, but this time was the first time, uh, this year in 2019, uh, I showed up for a few minutes of the whatever main opening speech with uh, Russell and it was pretty much the same introduction as last year. And so he's teaching the same things over and over again, but in different platforms. So he'll teach it from stage. He'll teach it in the book. He'll teach it in the course. It's the same information. Like if you want to save yourself thousands of dollars, just buy the $10 expert secrets or something. It's so yeah, it's like you can just repeat it over and over again, and your your true competition it it, it doesn't really go out that much. Um, it blows my mind uh, just how really uncompetitive, especially when you do the things that um, that w when you get really granular, like you know, there's SEO, but there you got to remember there's like so few people that know anything about SEO to begin with and affiliate marketing. And then when you combine that with a product like ClickFunnels, who you, you, you might think that it's a big brand because we're all in that space. Internet marketing, make money online is a really, really, really tiny niche. I used to think it was big because I like to make money online. I was interested in that. And then when you talk to like regular everyday folks, you realize how few people on the planet know anything about this world. Like my parents have no clue about this internet stuff. They, uh, you know, I, I gave them my dream car so they know ClickFunnels now. They're like, how's that ClickFunnels stuff going? You know, because I pay them for their car every month. But uh, other than that, they, they just, they don't understand this world or how it's possible. And there's just, there's so much out there. So just imagine focusing on like 
you know, doing whatever SEO or list building or whatever. And, and just, there's a thousand lists you could build, you know, but um, just in the internet marketing space, let's just say warrior plus offers. I mean, while there are thousands of people that might be interested in those types of offers, there's millions of people that have no clue that they exist. And so it just, yeah, your true competition is extremely small in the, I mean, you, you've been making quite a bit of money for some while, um, but I don't, I don't know if you can uh, agree with me on this, but I feel like the more money I make, the more I realize there's a whole lot more money to make. Like it just seems infinite. Like when I finally hit six figures, I'm like, wow, not only is this possible, but this should be like normal. There's millions more that I can see that I, I just have to create the vehicle to, go siphon it and grab it all because it's just so much money. There's so many niches, so many keywords out there. And and I'm in the smallest of all niches probably, you know? Yo, it's Igor. If you're loving the content, hop on over to lizbillinglifestyleshow.com for more free training and a free transcript of this episode. Oh, and I'd really appreciate if you logged into iTunes and rated the show. It really helps. Thanks. Well, it's pretty small, but it's intense, right? I mean, I always recommend people getting started with Make Money Online Lineage because it's always like, do, there's always something happening. Sure. People want to get the most up-to-date material. There's a new tool. There's a new technique. So this niche is always like pumping with money. But in terms of size, yes, I, I completely agree with you. Weight loss, muscle building, supplements, financial I mean, dating, these are huge niches, absolutely ginormous, way bigger than make money online. And uh, even even so, for some reason, I feel that just like you, there's still so much money to be made uh, pretty much which, what, what, with whatever it is that you do. Because um, in our business, what we can do, which I don't think that most businesses can do, is besides going wider into different niches and sub niches and micro niches, we can also go deeper into the same niche, right? And just like Russell delivers the same co content in a book for 10 bucks, in a course for 997, in an event for three and a half, in a private mastermind for 25 or whatever, uh, you can do exactly the same thing with pretty much anything if you wanted to. And I know you don't just because you, you care about lifestyle more than you do for the money. You'd already be doing like, I don't know, 250 people workshops on search engine optimization where you teach the same shit this year that you've taught last year. That would have happened eventually. So yeah. absolutely agree with you on that one. And I want to add another uh, concept which most people don't, uh, don't necessarily uh, sort of consider when it comes to competition. I believe that online specifically and very specifically to the online marketing niche, um, competition is an outdated concept because I'm not in the SEO space, so I look at it a little bit differently. But for me, many of my competitors are actually my my uh, uh, partners. For example, let's just take John Cristani, right? So John Cristani promotes my traffic services in the back end of the program because we serve his clients with traffic for one. And he also promoted my course, which is also about affiliate marketing, but not the kind of affiliate marketing that he teaches and vice versa. I ran two promos for John Cristani, made a, a decent amount of money for him and myself promoting him. So we're like supposed to be competitors because we're teaching sometimes the same things. Yeah, there's an overlap there. But at the end of the day, we end up making more money because we uh, promote each other to our audiences. Uh, and help each other uh, expand horizons and get you know people moving. So yeah, competition in many forms is often your partner when when it comes to the uh, the make money online space. Yeah, I completely agree with that. It's it's I don't know it's mindset shift for sure. But yeah, all the most all the dream car winners like I'm friends with all of them and like we just cross promote each other. Just I mean it's I don't know it's it's nicer to yeah team up together and have friends then to yeah i don't i don't really see anybody too much as my direct competition because there's just so upper, so much opportunity there's no reason for like if you get make a hundred thousand dollars i don't see that as like oh there's only a hundred thousand maybe left for me there's infinite amounts for both of us it's just yeah if we if we you saw this as a zero-sum game if we, you and me together would be looking at russell bronson and be like, yeah, there's no money left for us. Nope. <laughs> uh, and yeah, 
it's yeah, it, it blows my mind. And I, I, I like what you said in the beginning of you just sort of have to kind of convince yourself to believe it before it happens. Um, and that's true. I, especially with SEO, I mean, one of the common questions I get is how long is this going to take? When am I, when am I going to start to see results? And you just sort of have to kind of start taking action. And from that action, you'll get results and you'll get a little bit more insight into what it takes and your strategies, you, you can tweak them and you'll optimize them as you go on and, and you'll get better and better. Um, I don't know when things are going to kick in specifically. I just know that they will based on past results. So I just know if I put in effort, I will get results at some point in the future. <laughs> um, well, you got the winning formula, right? So you've you've seen this formula work, and until it stops working, you have no reason to believe that you know the results will be any different. So I totally get that, and yeah, I, I, honestly, uh, it really comes down to what kind of mindset do you have, and are you willing to change it? Because most people have the scarcity mindset about pretty much everything in their life related to money, but of course, this 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 can go into other areas of our lives, such as love, right, and other things, and so. For me, I started out with a scarcity mindset and anytime I saw other people making money, especially with affiliate programs I was promoting, I was like, ah, there's less money left Same. for me. But Same. now it's definitely not the case. And even, and you probably noticed this because you, you had uh, released your own courses by, by now. What I also noticed is that I can now create money in, in a form of new products, right? So I know that if I release a new product, given the fact that I've got a fan base of people who want to do business with me, as long as that product solves some kind of a problem that they have that I know how to solve, like I know I can create new money. And and that changes the uh, that changes everything when, when you learn how to do that. Yeah, you're not just stepping in front of the existing uh, problems and, and traffic. You know, you're, you're creating a, like a little tangent or something of your your own little stream of money that you just carved out of nowhere because you had an existing audience maybe or something so it's yeah I just I wanted to kind of say all that to communicate just the I know a lot of people probably watched or read the secret and law of attraction and all that stuff and yeah it's just when I was broke just a couple of years ago it was just something I had to kind of uh, like fake it till you make it, lie to myself until I got there. But now that I have been on the other side for a couple of years, it's hopefully it comes across in my voice in this interview. But yeah, it's it's something that I like see and live and feel every day. So it's it really is. I, I call it like the the wealth snowball because a lot of people talk about debt snowball and you know how it's so easy to get in debt and once you're in debt you just spin in circles and go farther and farther down. But once you start to get a little bit of success and you play your cards right and build relationships, things seem to sort of spiral upward too because like you you know you're very successful, but you you're not a one man show. You have friends in the space too, and they have friends and they have friends. So like when we meet at these events, a lot of times you're talking to someone that you know that's incredibly successful that I've never met. So that creates a new relationship, and it just it's amazing just how much awesome things can happen in such a short amount of time if you can just put forth some initial effort. Like nobody can do the work for you, unfortunately, um, unless you and. Unless you invest in the Igor's Dump for You coaching program. <laughs> unless you do that, absolutely. So unless you're willing to pay, you know, $250,000 to have me do something. Um, but yeah, I totally agree with you, man. But I want to demystify this a little bit for people because I don't want this to sound like too uh, metaphysical at this point. Um, the reason I believe you are successful just like anyone else, uh, any one of us in this industry is because you're applying correct principles of behavior in an environment with reasonable chances of success, meaning that you're applying SEO principles with affiliate marketing in a market that is always hungry for new stuff and you know always researching and wants to stay up to date and gets tools. So um, I want to like again not to rain in your parade in terms of like believe and you shall achieve. I do believe that. I that is why before I start a new project, I first draw up a clear picture exactly what I want that project to look like, how much I want that project to make me, and uh, how much time is it supposed to take. So I try to get as specific as possible about what the end goal is. So then I can believe in it and then I can build it. But 
We also have to remember that you do what you do correctly, really, is you choose your niches right. You choose your keywords right. You create good content around those keywords that make sense. You are consistent with it as well. You're not just, you know, you have multiple, multiple, multiple of these uh, different campaigns. Because if you go, again, guys, I highly recommend you hit uh, imsource.org right now. As you're listening to this, unless you're driving, then don't. But uh, check out Greg's income report because you look over time, you'll see that he's got it like you know dozens and dozens of income streams that give him like sixty bucks a month or two hundred bucks a month. Like it, it's not like everything that Greg does all of a sudden makes him ten grand a month, like ClickFunnels did. Now, in fact, ClickFunnels continuously remains, I think, one of your bigger income streams. But the principles are correct. The consistency is there. In an environment with high probability of success, therefore, you know, you start making more money over time. That's awesome. That's perfect. Which is why anyone who wants to do uh, affiliate SEO should definitely go and check out your course. Just Google SEO affiliate domination uh, to learn more about that. Now, uh, we're just about to wrap up the show. And um, obviously, if anyone wants to find out more about your techniques and the specifics of what you do, they should get the course. Again, the name is SEO Affiliate Domination. Now, the last question I do have is if you could go back in time and, um, you know, just uh, tell yourself something, just say like back before you start making money, what would you tell yourself? Uh, this is kind of hard because back then I didn't know as much as I know now. So I, I definitely spent way longer than I probably should have going through courses and reading books. I'm sure, you know, a lot of people, your listeners can identify with this um, because I always thought that, you know, I, I didn't know enough in order to take confident action. And you've probably heard of like focus on one thing, but it's hard to focus on one thing when you're not sure if that one thing is the thing, you know? So I, I get that I have one of my things that started to change for me uh, when I, when, when I started to go to live events and my second live event I went to was JV zoo's marketing mayhem in 2016. And I was chatting with um, John Sugar and I knew he had had, a lot more financial success than me uh, in a short amount of time wh when you just got started. And I was like, what, what led to that? How did you have such a great amount of success in such a short amount of time? I've been in this world for s so many years and my path to success is like, I wasn't, I was making some money, but I wasn't making enough yet to um, quit my job. And he said, Oh, I just, I started to go to live events and I found like mentors and recommendations there. So I would recommend that same strategy because things started to change significantly um, financially for me when I started to go to live events. I know on the front end, they seem like they cost more, but I was spending just as much money, if not more on a thousand little $97 a month or $97 ClickBank project uh, products for years. And the, the, while you may stumble upon a great one, you don't have any uh, accountability. There's no mentorship, no one else to talk to. So when you make the effort to go to these live events, you got to think of the caliber of people that are making the same sacrifice to be there. So they're taking time out of their day there. It costs money to get there. Even if the event's free, they got to pay for hotels and flights and food and stuff. So the, ca the caliber of people that you're going to meet at those live events, even if they're um, a beginner, at least they're motivated. They're motivated enough to go to the live events. So go to live events and ask for recommendations there. Um, you know, we've heard of, you know, find a mentor, but I think you'll have a lot greater chance of potentially losing money or getting screwed. If you just try to, you know, cross your fingers and hope you pick the right mentor just by a Facebook ad, because a lot of times I feel like people are going to be less likely to lie to your face in person. So you can meet a lot of these people that you've seen as at live events, or you can um, a lot of times meet some of their students and they can tell you the truth about them if they're legit or not. So my two pieces of advice to for myself uh, that would just shortcut my path to success significantly would go get out of my comfort zone uh, earlier, <laughs> uh, go to these live events. Um, you may not pick the right event on the first try, 
who cares? You'll probably get some tips to better events if you go to a Dublin or something. You know, the, just the ones to start out with is uh, Funnel Hacking Live, uh, Traffic and Conversion Summit are two big ones that are going to be a lot of entrepreneurs there if you're looking for recommendations. And those are generally every year so, so far. Um, so those are two recommendations. And then just get out of your comfort zone, um, talk to people there. Um, when I first went to my first live events, I was way more shy because I didn't know anybody. I hadn't done much. Um, uh, my body language communicated that because I, you know, didn't, wasn't making that much. And, you know, but the more events you go to, the more people you're going to meet, you're going to be more confident. Like the second, third time I saw you or whatever, um, you know, I've already seen you at an event. I bought some of your services. Um, I've made some money for you with affiliate stuff. So um, it just, yeah, to sum it all up, go to live events and uh, find a mentor there because uh, working one-on-one -on -one with someone's really going to help you kind of leapfrog your way to success. And yes, both those things cost money, but I, I think you're going to find that you're going to actually save money in the long run because you're going to be saving time and you're going to be saving a lot of money like not doing the things that probably don't work because a lot of the people that do go to these events, they are, you know, have made a decent amount of money. And so just ask them what, what's working for you. Like if it's, you know, sh you know for the last couple of years, it's been Shopify and drop shipping, Shopify this and stuff. So if that's the, whatever trend, um, the way things are going, then try to find a Shopify person if that was if that's interesting to you. If if you're interested in building a list, try to find Igor, you know, um, and ask like you can just ask him. You know, I'm sure you got a lot of products. Which what's the best one of your products that you recommend? If you could only pick one, and you can just save a lot. You Dude, you're one. setting me up like I'm I'm itching right now to pitch something, and I'm like holding myself back big time. You're setting me up. You're building the stage. I got to get on the stage. So, and I mean, yeah. So that I know that was a long-winded answer, but yeah, just tr make an effort um, to go to some live event, meet people there, and uh, find find some sort of mentor direction and. Uh, I feel like you've said some things that kind of allude to this too. Um, if you're just interested in making money and you don't, um, you don't know what's the best thing to focus on, try to detach yourself from um, being married to any one method for making money. So like if you, if you think that you would like to start a Shopify store but you don't know anything about Shopify and you don't know anything about list building, but you meet Igor at a live event and he's like, yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty low maintenance business. And these are the pieces and this is how it works. I have this train, blah, blah, blah. Then do what makes money first and you can follow your dream later. You know, um, you know, try to, you know, if you, if you just have this idea of this store brand that you want to create and you just, you know, you've seen all these testimonials for the amazing selling machine or something, and you want to create an uh, e-com drop shipping business on Amazon stuff. Well, you know, that you may find some great system to implement that, and, and it may work out as planned, but try to find somebody that's doing something that's having success. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't is. You don't have to be married to list building, but if list building – is what gets you your start and it's making 20,000 a month or something in a couple of months, then, um, then do that. And then once you have enough money, then you can do the thing that you're passionate about or you love or something. Don't be so focused on what you think you might like to do if you don't know how to make money with it yet. Um, a lot of my projects that I'm doing now, they don't make money for quite some time as I'm building them. And they take cash flow. So where's that cash flow come from? It comes from SEO. Um, and I've, I maybe when I was more broke, I didn't um, maybe like SEO as much. But now that I've made money from it, it suddenly becomes a lot more fun and a lot more sexy because it it's what makes me money. Like I'm sure there are days years ago that you probably didn't like list building too much, but now that it's made you a lot better. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> It was so complicated, right? 
but I knew it was the way to go because every guru had a list and they always emailed me with offers and I wish then you know, after the launch was over, they'd be coming back and be like, okay, so check out how we made $4 million in, in a day. And it's like, okay, so it all starts with having a huge list. Okay. All right. Okay. I get it. I get it. But yeah, I totally get your advice. So uh, go to live events because of the energy because of being able to talk to some of these smart people who are making money in person as well as the people you may have never heard of because a lot of the people that have it figured out don't really produce products they just make money really quietly but they will go to the event and they will be hanging out at the bar and you know when you start talking to them it's like oh yeah i got the seven figure business and the underwear niche and those are, those are the people to pay attention to it's like the quiet ones in the corner are like who's the guy that igor's talking to like Maybe there's a group of four people and you know Igor and you recognize the other two because you've seen Facebook ads, but who's the guy that they're all talking to and they have all their attention turned to? Like, who's that mystery guy? He's probably making more than all of them combined. You know, and those are the people that you want to meet. Yeah. You you bring up JV Zoo. Uh, I went to uh, JV Zoo 2014. And um, I was at, at the, like, there's this, uh, I think it's always in the same hotel, right? In the Orlando yeah. hotel yeah. with a big shopping mall attached yep. to it. Yep. So there was, there's this Irish pub or, or, or some kind of pub inside the hotel in the lobby. And uh, I remember uh, I was sitting with a bunch of my students, which is where I met them for the first time in person. And then a guy walks in and everybody's like, quiet. It's like, who is this guy? It's like, oh, this is the guy who owns Warrior Plus. He just sold it for $10 million. It's like, oh, wow. Oh, my God. I didn't I didn't have the balls to come up and talk to him because I thought he's some sort of a god on the top of a mountain or something like that. I would I would have come up to him now and just spoke to him because I realized that, you know, he's just a human being that bleeds and, you know, takes a dump every now and then while like we all yeah. do. But, yeah, being in the same room as these people and – seeing real money walking around uh just it changes a lot it changes a whole lot and uh, i i agree with you that going to live events is definitely one of those things i wish i could have gone like i built my business to multiple six figures and eventually to seven figures before i went to a single event because it was so far away yeah. like in israel yeah. and it cost a lot of money and was jet lag and just it just the price to pay was too great for me but i agree with you that if if i did go to events faster earlier you know more often i would probably have succeeded way faster because it sort of breaks these you know how racehorses have these blind blinders on like it almost takes away the blinders at some point by being next to these people in the room oh totally because you realize like like you said that most of them are just ordinary folks they're not um really any smarter than you and i know People have used that a lot. You know, you don't have to be smart, blah, blah, but it's true. Like, and not to say that they're not smart, but they, uh, I, I won't say their names, but I, I met two um, really good SEOs at that JV Zoo event. There was a lot of other amazing marketers there too, but I was talking to them and talking to them was what gave me the confidence to do more of what I was already doing because it was working, but I was tiptoeing my way using these strategies because I, I was, even though I had some results, I was like, well, I, you know, I'm still in that scarcity mindset of like, well, you know, uh, you know, I can't, I've got one video that's ranking for product name review and like maybe it's making money or maybe it's not. And, and they were focusing, I was trying to understand like a hundred percent of every, you know, the SEO game. And after talking with them, you can, you can kind of size people up pretty quickly. And I was like, man, they, I probably know, they probably know like 20% of what I know, but they're taking action on all of it. Meanwhile, I'm over here with like 85% and I'm making way less than them. And, and they didn't know, you know, half the stuff I knew and they were fine with it. They're like, yeah, this, I just do the things I know, like with SEO, you may have heard of private blog networks and stuff. One of them, they were, he was like, yeah, I just buy my links. I, I don't really even know how to build a private blog network. I'm like, what? So you don't even deal with all that? He's like, no, I just, I just focus on writing the articles and then, um, yeah, I just buy my links from some other guy and he's always on page one for launch jacking and stuff makes tons of money. Like he had a $8,000 watch on his hand. And I was like, that's more money than I've ever made in a month. And you've got it on your wrist. Like what, but you just, yeah, kind of, 
like you said, takes the blinders off, like, cause these are real people and they're not gonna, you know, when you act like, so you get, if you get six or 10 people around you and they're all, they all tell you they're making six or seven figures, you know, one of them might be lying, but they're not all going to lie to you, to your face there. And so it's completely different from seeing like, uh, a video of one of our friends or people we know saying that like, Hey, I've got this seven figure system. I'm in a video on this, uh, whatever YouTube ad or a Facebook ad that you clicked. It's different seeing them in person. You're like, wow, this is really like really possible. It's not uh, in a book or a, whatever a video or a course it, these are real people. And if they literally, if they can do it, like I know I can do it cause they're, they're nobody special really. Um, yeah, and you'd be surprised, but many of them are actually dysfunctional too. Oh, so <laughs> make sure not to uh, don't judge the message by the messenger because the messengers are always fucked up. <laughs> uh, just my observation from going to these seminars, and I'm not excluded, by the way. I have I have a bunch of <laughs> you know warnings, uh, you know, <laughs> about dealing with me. Anyway, uh, Greg, thank you so much for an amazing talk, um, guys. If you want to learn more about how Greg makes money promoting affiliate products with search engine optimization just get on google right now and type in either greg jeffries seo because there's a greg jeffries baseball player that's currently taking over the whole first page but that's not for long because i hear he's got his you know uh his days are numbered there um or or you can search for seo affiliate domination which is the exact course that Greg's teaching. You can go online right now, get it, and he's gonna walk you through step-by-step step everything he's doing. And uh, with this one, you can be certain that he's not holding back. Uh, because you know how sometimes people release courses just to make money and they hold a lot of stuff back that actually works for them, so you don't end up competing with them. So just like you've heard so far in this call, um, Greg's actually not afraid of competition, and he is giving away um, his secrets and his system in that product. So that's SEO affiliate domination for you. Uh, Greg, thank you so much. And until next time we chat, have a good day. Thank you for listening to the Liz Billion Lifestyle. Get access to previous episodes, the transcription of today's show, as well as other exclusive content at lizbillionlifestyleshow.com. Also, don't forget to claim your free seat at the workshop I'm hosting this week where I showed the two-step system that made me the top affiliate for people like Matt Basak, John Cristani, Richard Legg, Michael Cheney, and many, many others. In fact, on this workshop, I'm going to show you the exact approach I take whenever I promote an affiliate offer, the exact offers I promote, as well as how I was able to make over half a million dollars in commissions using my small list of just 18,000 people promoting a weird type of product that almost no one else promotes. All that is yours at igor.ac. So go ahead, claim your seat right now, and I'll see you there.